Hey there. Um, this is Robert again, and I guess this is part two of my tutorial on uh, doing transcriptions of YouTube videos with the fabulous NoteFlight editor. Um, in my first fledgling attempt, oh, hello there. I had a uh, piece of tape over my uh, <clears throat> camera. In my first fledgling attempt, I uh, estimated it would take me about an hour to finish uh, transcribing Ken Hewitt's If I Loved You. Um, okay, that was six days ago, and I put in well over 20 hours, and I probably have another three days to go. But trust me, I've learned a lot. Um, now, briefly, I just want to show you uh, an essential component, which I discovered during my 20 hours, to doing these transcriptions. And that, over here in the lower left, is the Virtual Piano Chrome Extension. Uh, over here, I have a little piano I can play with my mouse, and whenever I touch a note, middle C in this case, it'll tell me that it's F4, which is very useful. Um, I'm just going to make it real big here so you can see what it looks like when it's really big here. But I have it positioned down here where it's uh, very convenient. And just so you know how to install your own virtual piano into your Chrome browser, you'll notice here in Chrome colon slash less extensions that I have installed the free virtual piano. And it's essential. I wouldn't work without it. In, in the past, I was using um, GarageBand on my, on my iPhone, uh, but this is much more efficient. Um, what else to show you? Um, I've, I've put so much work into this. I've learned so much. I just words can't express how much I've learned um, from, the, from this incredible score, incredible score that um, seems to have been an off-the-cuff arrangement by, by Kent Hewitt. Um, I was just finishing up the ending today. Um, just for fun, I'm just going to play the ending. I don't, I'm not going to play the whole thing, but uh, just to give you an idea of uh, the, the beauty of this thing. I mean, I've, I've fought over every note, and it's just astounding. Let me just play this, the ending of this thing. You notice that I put the, uh, the lyrics up here. This is never two. This is the rousing ending. Spent hours on this. I'm rest restraining myself from singing along here. Here it goes. Loved you. Beautiful work by Kent. G9 sus. G13 flat nine. C69. Wonderful, wonderful work. I look forward to the next two days of uh, completing this, <clears throat> trying to make it as perfect as I can. The last thing I want to show you is how you share this when you're all done. Pretend I'm all done. Up here on the right, you see where it says screen details. I click on screen, I click on screen details. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this with the world or um, or germain to yourself with you if you wish um, to access my shared copy. Uh, the first thing over here I'm going to do in score details is uh, select a genre, which I think will select to be jazz, and a difficulty, I'm going to say intermediate, although, <laughs> I don't know, 20 hours, and uh, I, I, I just tend to call it piano vocal. Now down here, this is the important thing where it says share, I go into share. It says this score is not currently shared. I'm going to say share score. I'm going to say who can access this score? I shall say everyone. Everyone. I shall say um, everyone with a link can view this score and uh, show this score in search results and public listings. And I'm also going to let people copy and export this uh, score. So once you have the link, you'll be able to um, export it as a PDF or uh, even copy the NoteFlight score and, and work on it yourself. So I'm going to hit next there <clears throat> and save, and uh, that's all you have to do. Now, if I wanted to, at this moment right now, share the score, I go here in the, in the right, and I say copy link to score, which I have just done, and now I can paste that into, oh, I don't know, the, uh, the YouTube video that I'll be making of this. Okay, I don't want to uh, waste too much of your time here. Um, 
just let me show you one last thing about the wonderful help system in NoteFlight. You see up in the upper right here it says help. I'm going to click help. And let's say that I wanted to know how to, um, oh, I don't know, um, do something with a measure. I just type in the word measure here. And now you see it has um, everything in the help system to do with the measure. Now, as I mouse over one, for example, here, how to hide, hide show measures, it actually opens up the windowing system and, and shows where in the menu system that that option is. And I could click on it and it would work. Um, for example, here's air, add measure before. Now, if I really want the real deal, I can over here click on user guide, which I have just done, and it opens up the complete note flight user guide in a separate tab. Uh, here it comes. Come on, there it is. Here's the uh, the complete note flight user guide, which I can uh, do searches on, and I can tab back and forth between my score and the user guide. Okay, well that's uh, that's enough for this uh, video, but I, I hope I've um, uh, shared with you my enthusiasm for using note flight and using YouTube so that you can visually um, engage yourself as you auditorily do these transcriptions, which are crucial to the journey of any fledgling journeyman musician. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks and have a great day.